Hi hey guys, this is Ash and in this video I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install the Mid Note uh, ice cream sandwich ROM onto your Samsung Galaxy Note. So right now, uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your phone is rooted and you have Clockwork Recovery installed. So in case you have not rooted your phone, click on the link that pops up uh, and that will take you to, a, to my tutorial on how to root the Samsung Galaxy Note. So once you have that done, click on links 1, 2 and 3 and download the files and uh, save them onto a folder anywhere that's e easily accessible and once you're done with that go and open up connect your phone to the PC with a micro USB cable go to the SD card and transfer these fi three files onto the micro SD card's root folder so once you're done with that you're done with the PC part uh, of this tutorial so off we go to the phone uh, so guys now uh, we have the files transferred over so what we need to do now is reboot into recovery so in case you don't know how to do it it's the up volume key the power button and the home button just press and hold all the three I mean just press and hold the three buttons at the same time you might get a screenshot taken but just keep holding it and uh, the moment you see Samsung Galaxy Note written on it just let it go right there okay so we've rebooted into recovery so uh, what you need to do right now is go in I'm sorry to install zip from SD card and uh, choose zip from SD card and now select abyss note kernel uh, 139 original logo dot zip and select install abyss note kernel so it'll take a few seconds to flash and once that's done go back go into advanced and uh, select reboot recovery so this is gonna reboot recovery right now so just give it a few seconds okay guys we're now back into recovery and this is the hyperdroid red pill recovery so uh, guys in case you're coming into this ROM from a Chinese leaked version I mean any leaked ice cream sandwich ROM fla flashed from a DAR file only uh, in that case you do not have to uh, wipe it, wipe anything but in case you're coming in from any uh, gingerbread ROM or the rocket uh, rocket ROM version 1.5 the ice cream sandwich one any ROM that you flashed uh, via clockwork mod uh, if that's what you've done then navigate down to wipe menu and do a wipe data factory reset okay it's done so now go back and go to install menu choose zip from internal SD card I'm sorry from external SD card and select mid note 2.0 ICS new dot zip and select entire install uh, mid note whatever so this is gonna take a couple of minutes so we need to wait okay now the installation is done so do not reboot go back I mean just go back up choose zip from external SD card and navigate to the third file that we have uh, that we got in the gapps 7.1.zip select it and select yes install gapps so again this is gonna take a few seconds And once that's done, you go back and I've go into wipe menu and wipe cache and wipe Davic cache. Oops, missed that. Okay, we're done.
So go back and reboot menu and reboot system. And we're back up guys, so uh, just go ahead and select whatever, select the normal settings that you do. And uh, once I'm done with that, I'll be back. So we're up guys, this ROM by default comes with two launchers, the Nova and TouchWiz. So let's use TouchWiz right now. And uh, it's up. So it seems to work fine. And just to show you guys, I'm going to head on into settings about phone and that's Android 4.0.3 mid note so that's it for this tutorial guys if you have any kind of uh, queries leave it in the comment section and if it's something technical you have some any issues following the tutorial try to send it to me in an email because you know I can have, I can have track of what we've been talking in case I have to get back to you multiple times uh, uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Again, uh, all my contact details are in the description. For Twitter, it's at Cursed Forever. So that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the like button. I'll be, go I'll be going ahead and making a lot more reviews on the ICS ROMs or whatever popular ROMs that are for the Galaxy Note and tutorials if they're required. So uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.